I've always been one to do things with my hands. When I do art, if I do it at the computer, it would just make me get really depressed. But when I would draw or paint or find other ways to do it, it would make me happy. And I took a letterpress class and I ended up apprenticing for the guy who taught the class. I'm working with him and he has a lot of old telephone directories laying around. And I looked through one and I found a sign painter. It said, sign painter and hand lettering, Kerry Jensen, Price, Utah. Called him up, set up an appointment, went down. He drove me around the town and showed me all the signs he had painted over the last 30 years. And took me back to his house, showed me just the basics, the bare bones of sign painting, how to mix the paint properly, how to, a couple tips and tricks, how to hold your brush, how to just really do it right. And after that, you know, it just snowballed. And here I am now, like eight years later. It's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a day job. It's a blue collar, kind of hardworking job. But it's creative at the same time. If I was to talk to myself back when I was first starting, I would say just practice the basics and get them dialed down. If you're just starting out, stay humble and don't get ahead of yourself. Patience. You know, you have to wait for your paint to dry. You have to wait for your skill set to improve. You have to wait for the ideas to come. And then hard work. Because if you don't have hard work, if you're just lazy and you just rely on the natural talent you have, you're not going to go very far as far as progressing or, you know, impressing in the long run. The sign painter today has the challenge of overcoming today's technology to accomplish the beauty of yesteryear. <laughs>